Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is gonna be episode 31. And um, I haven't posted a few, I haven't posted in a few weeks videos because I've been working on um, a personal project that I wanna show, uh, I wanna share with you guys. And also I've been just a little busy with like work and freelance and stuff. But um, today uh, I'm gonna start with the first video of the series. I believe it's gonna be about 10 videos. And the reason I wanted to do this was because uh, a few reasons, one of them just to talk a little bit more about my process and experience working in the animation industry as a background designer. And also I wanted to try and kind of approach a different style from what I usually do. I wanted to do a little bit more clean and more towards like a little bit more anime-ish uh, type of backgrounds and so I wanted to kind of just dive into the whole process of, of creating uh, a few backgrounds like if it was for like a like an intro or a, or, a, um, or an opening of an anime sequence or just a short clip or something and the reason I do that is just because to kind of dive in more into the story and uh, just to create more content for this whole series of episodes for you guys and um, also just to kind of practice this sort of style. So first let me show you sort of like a little video of the whole project as a whole, just in terms of like the final backgrounds, and then we'll get into today's content, all right? Right, so um, so that video just kind of shows all the final backgrounds that I did. But um, just to give you guys an idea, uh, part of this whole series is gonna be talking about uh, what I did before getting to those backgrounds. So today I'm gonna be talking about sketching the initial layouts for the animation, and you know, so some some weeks and some videos are gonna be a little bit longer because I'm going to be talking more about what's happening and some of that are just going to be mostly time lapse to show you just kind of the process of getting the whole um, just getting the whole background done and uh, I did use a lot of 3D for this background so some of them you're going to see that process as well um, and but today uh, let's talk about a little bit of uh, about the first thing that I did which is pretty much kind of work some of the layouts and ideas that I had and kind of work the actual I did like a little um, animatic sort of uh, with some storyboards and I am in no shape or form a storyboarder or animator um, so I'm not trying to you know to be that doing you know doing these uh, exercises but uh, it does help me a lot to kind of understand my idea better and just kind of explore it more and uh, just to kind of dive into uh, and understanding the whole process from beginning to end. And in, in, my, in my experience as a background designer in the studio, I had to work with uh, storyboarders and animators and character designers. So understanding their pipeline, even though I'm not going to be one, uh, just helps, uh, helps the whole process just run uh, smoother because I can, I can figure out how, how I can help them and how uh, you know, we can work with each other just to kind of develop the final product as best as possible. So let me show you here just a little storyboard. Now this was the very, very rough uh, draft. I wanted to just kind of like um, redo it uh, just to pick better shots. And I wanted to do some camera panning. And I, and I did this very quick in Photoshop. Um, but um, I'm going to I'm gonna see if I can make it a little bit better just to, just to kind of just make it better. Uh, but here I'll walk you through um, what I did here. And the idea was just kind of do like a train station type of cyber, um, sci-fi type of um, era. And, you know, we have this guy walking on the street and, you know, he's kind of looking into the entrance of this underground 
uh, train station and uh, just looking around going in and I wanted to do some UI stuff as well so this will be this shot right here will, will be a, a good opportunity to do that it just kind of walks in but um, he didn't have a, a pass to it and on this shot I wanted to get him uh, just walking off uh, the shadows and into the light here in this underground basement as he goes down the stairs and this shot was more of a establishing shot just to kind of establish the, the environment that, that the character is going to be at and this happens a lot um, in the in the animation where, where, where we get to, into a new location we have a establishing shot of the location and that way people know uh, where the the upcoming scenes are going to take place so this guy finds, finds a uh, just a important prop on the ground, you know. I was thinking maybe he's a, he has some like plushy or some sort of like uh, something kit related, and um, you know it's gonna be like bloody and there's gonna be blood on the ground. That sort of thing. He kind of like looks at it and um, he's gonna grab it, but he doesn't because he understands what really happened. And in here, uh, he's realizing pretty much what he needs to do. Um, so I was thinking that maybe he's looking for for this kid or 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 um, just kind of looking for trails because it's like trying to um, get to these uh, people and um, on this previous shot um, I imagine that he listens or hears some people screaming uh, in this place so he's gonna head towards that to kind of um, you know solve the issue and um, he had just a really long this was supposed to be like a camera pan uh, where we see the background just panning um, from right to left as we um, have a close-up of, of our character. So it's super simple, uh, nothing really complicated or anything, but uh, that will give me an idea of kind of like what the backgrounds are going to be like, the camera angles, and uh, kind of figure out uh, what what backgrounds I wanted to make for this whole um, this whole scene. Now, for let me show you here for the as you can see here um, I started very simple and I, I explained how I do these sketches which is one value on, on my previous episodes and uh, what I'm gonna show you now is just the timeless of how I make these uh, backgrounds here and pretty much uh, this is just uh, the single frames of the animatic um, as you can see and um, and uh, you know I just wanted to show you how I make this this uh, very simple sketches and for these sketches you know I'm thinking about light source uh, what are going to be the elements and uh, some sort of idea of what the design of this stuff that I'm going to be have here are going to be like so once I have this then I can move on into uh, making some maybe uh, uh, concept art for like what the props are going to be and the elements are going to be in this in this whole environment and just kind of define those um, either in 3d or 2d whatever your your medium or how you're going to do it but this will give me an idea of the things that i need for creating this background and you know most of these and i was thinking of having two main locations which is going to be the outside which is going to be this one and i wanted to have a very very different color palette as you're going to see later on for both locations just to kind of um, Make them different. Yeah, I want it to be very warm, very orange light, with full shadows, and uh, and once on the underground um, area uh, appears, I want it to be very uh, violets and reds and greens and very kind of like cyberpunkish um, colors. So um, that's it for today. Uh, I will show you now the timelines of all these backgrounds uh, and and how I made them and just kind of how I kind of put it together and. Uh, next week we're gonna dive into a little bit more of what uh, kind of like the concepts that I did to design some of these uh, elements that you see in the in the final background and uh, this is kind of how it uses the 3d and, and, and all that all right so I hope you guys enjoyed it and um, I hope you enjoyed this upcoming uh, time lapse and if you have any questions feel free to put them on the uh, comment section below or uh, send me a message all right Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next. Line,
This bittersweet heat is suffocating. I'm waiting and always hesitating. Kryptonite desires set my heart afire. Heart on fire. Set my heart afire. Set my heart on fire.